So and welcome to project 60 out of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this box shadow generator by just using html css and javascript so now here you can see we have this x-axis right here so it now just allows us to provide our shadow on the x-axis of a box and then we have a y-axis and then we have a thickness right here like how much thicker we have our um, box shadow and then finally we have our blurness right here okay uh, like how much blur or shadow will be so if we just click on this copy button so it'll now just copy the code to the clipboard and finally we can also change the color to like something else like uh, i don't know i'll just change it to red or maybe green will be fine and if i just click on somewhere else so here you can see it'll now just uh, provide this box shadow right here okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and JavaScript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code first of all let me just create a folder give a name of like 060 and and then like box shadow generator all right so inside there let me just create a file and the first file we would have is like index.html the second one we would have is like style.css and the third one we would have is app.js for javascript and now let me just make that a bit bigger and just write our doc type html in it so here i want to just pass the tile to like box shadow uh, and then generator okay so now let's just link that to our css file and also to our javascript file as well so now let me just um hide this metadata from there right click on it and open it with the live server and now we are ready to go so the first step for html we are going to be just writing is our container inside this container we are going to be just writing our wrapper wrapper and inside this wrapper we are going to be creating a div with the id of box okay and we are not going to be placing anything inside there now the next thing which i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a um, div with a class of sliders and inside these sliders we are going to be creating um we are going to be writing a few inputs so the first one will be range let me give an idea of like uh sldr of uh sldr in one and also the value will be set to zero Okay, and then you will provide a min attribute and it will be set to minus 5. Let's provide a max attribute to it, so it will be set to plus 5. So once we save it, and this is how it looks like, so now let me just duplicate it like 4 times, maybe 3 times. Okay, so now let's just change the value of it to, the first one is like cool, then now let's just change this one to 0. And also this one to 0, this one will be just 10, and now let's just change the min value to be 0. And now let's just change this value to be 10 and change these IDs. So um, SLDR2, SLDR3, and 4. Okay, so and all of them will have the um, type of range. So once we save it, zoom out a bit, and this is how it looks like. So now the third div which we are going to be creating is um, it will be the output code. So we are going to be just writing a div with the ID of out output code. Okay, so inside there we are going to be creating an input with a type of text and also the ID will be CSS code. And here let me just put my read, uh, read only, and it will be set to nothing. Okay, so that's there. Let me just save this. And now finally, not finally, but we still have a lot of code to type, but let me just create a button with the ID of copy. And here it will say like copy. Okay, so underneath this div, we are going to be creating our final div with the class of colors and it will be now inside there we are going to be creating a type of color and here let's just give them the ID of like shadow, S H A D O W color, a lowercase, all of them will be lowercase. So now let me just show you the code. So the first thing we have is our container right here. Inside this container we have a wrapper div right here. Inside this wrapper div we have this box. And underneath there we have a slider right here. Inside this slider we have these four inputs right here. And you already like see the attribute. I'm not going to go through that anymore. And now the next th next div we have is this output container or output code. And now inside there we have is, is a one input with the ID of CSS code. And then we have like um, button and the ID of copy and then we have our div with a class of colors and inside there we have just like this um, shadow color so now we are ready to go to our css and now let's just style our web page and this is how it looks like currently right now the first thing i would do for css is i'm going to just write a left of zero top of zero and now let's just get uh, into the body and then just provide a display of grid on it and place um, items will be now set to center Okay, and now let's just get our h1 
and provide a color of totally white and also the z index will be just one okay so that's that so now let's just get our container which is this container okay so i'm gonna just select my container in there and then just pour a display of grid on it and grid and underneath that we are going to be providing or place um items and it will be now set to like center one more time and then we have a background of totally white and underneath that we are going to be just providing a little bit of like width to it like 90 at viewport width and height will be just come on height will be just like um 80 um vh for viewport height so once we save it and this is how it looks like currently now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select my box which is this container right here so i'm going to write a box and inside this box we are going to write a background of fff like totally white and now let's just put a max width to it to like 80 80 percent and then height will be 20 rims and box shadow will be 5 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel one more time 2 pixel and then 3 3 3 okay so inside there uh, i mean like underneath this box shadow we are going to be writing about uh, our margin bottom of just 10 percent and border radius will be just 10 pixels so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so that's that now the next thing which we have to do is that we have to get our css code class which is this one all right where is it? all right here we go we have the css code class right here now let me just select my css and code okay so inside there we are going to be just providing a width of like 40 percent and padding will be just 10 pixel and border radius will be zero and margin top will be just now equals to 20 pixel okay and now let's just put a border of none and then border bottom will be just set to like one pixel solid save our file and now this is how it looks like right here okay so now we are done with that now the next thing which we have to do is to get our um, shadow color which is this shadow color id right here so i'm going to select my shadow shadow color and it will be now equals to like uh, width will be 70 percent and the border now let's get rid of that border and margin top of 20 pixels save it and here you can see we have this um right here <laughs> so we can now change the color of it if you want to all right so now the final thing which you have to do is to get or copy which is um this id right here and now let's just style that a bit so i'm going to just write a copy in here and the background will be totally uh transparent and now let's just get rid of that border as well and now let's just pour a new border of one pixel solid black and now let's just pour a little bit of padding of top and bottom will be 10 pixel left and right will be 20 pixel cursor will be pointer font where will be bold and then on uh, transition will be 0.5 second ease seven and this is how our buttons look like and now the next thing which i'm going to do i'm going to also pour a hover start to it so let me just get my copy and hover it so if you want to just change the background color to be crimson and you can choose whichever kind of color you like and text color will be just totally white seven and now if you hover over it so this is how it looks like so now let me just get rid of that border as well oh uh, not here i'm gonna place it right here all right so now we can just remove that border all right so now we are good to go so now we are done with the html and also with the css so now let's just jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity to this site so for javascript you need a few things for selectors we are going to be just first of all selecting our sliders and then we are going to be selecting our colors then we are going to be selecting our output container out come on output container and then we are going to be selecting our button copy so now let's just select that so the first thing we would do is we would just select all of our sliders so we would have like more than one so for that we are going to be using create selector all so now let me just write input with a type of range okay so now let me just close that in there and now let's just write let color and it will be now equals to document dot query selector all now let me just write input with the type of color okay so we are going to be just writing that and also let me just close it in here and then we are going to be selecting our output and it will now equals to document dot get element by id of css code okay and now let's just get our button so now let me just get our button it will be like equals to document dot 
uh, get element by ID and then copy. Okay, so now let me just uh, log everything to the console. Like we have a sliders duplicated a few times, and then we have a color, and then we have an output and also button copy. Copy. Uh, save it. And now let's just open our developer tools. So we have uh, all of these sliders right here, and then we have this um, what do we call it? Shadow color. So why we use like query selector all for that. We have this one, so let me just see. Alright, so you have one, so why the hell are we are writing a query selector? <laughs> it should be just query selector. Yeah, so save it. And now we have this one. Then we have our CSS um, input with a clause of CSS code. And also we have our copy button. So now let me just get rid of these and also these comments as well. Okay, so the first thing I would do for JavaScript is I'll create a function with the name of create box. So we are going to be first of all creating a box. So the first thing we'd get is like x axis, so sliders, and we want to get the first one in value. Can okay, duplicate it and now let's just change this one to one and this one to y. So uppercase x and uppercase y. So underneath that we are going to be writing our blur radius. So let me just write blur radius. Come on, blur radius and it will be now equals to sliders and now let's just get our second one and get the value of it so now the next thing which you have to do is to get or spread radius and it will be now equals to like slider and then we want to get the third one and its value so now let me just get the value of it and now here we are going to be placing or a uh, box shadow or shadow shadow color and it will be now equals to color and now you want to get the first one like the zero one and we want to get the value of it underneath this shadow color we are going to be getting our box shadow and it will be now equals to this one now first of all let me just render my x in here and then let me get my y axis x axis and y axis and i forgot to include a pixel so let me just write a pixel and also here and finally not finally but we have to provide our blur radius in here and pixel as well and also or spread uh, radius in here as well and pixel there as well so now the final thing that you have to do is to get our box and then render these contents so, so now i'm going to just write like document dot get element by id and the id was a box and now let's just write a style dot css text and it will be now equals to box shadow and now box shadow will be equals to box shadow and then the box uh, not box but shadow color as well okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is to get our output which is this one right here so now let me just get my output and then for a value and it will be now equals to this box shadow and now let's just write our box shadow in there okay so now let's just create or create box here let me just create like create box and call it save it Okay, so cannot read the property of undefined reading the value. What's wrong? At line 12. So let me just check it. You know what? It will be a box, not box, but query selector all. So once we save it, and now we cannot see that. Uh, that's because we cannot um, provide these values right here. So once we attach even listener on that, so you will see that. But by the way, we can see our box shadow right here. So everything is now set to zero. And if you just change that to something else, we cannot change that right away because we have to attach these event listener in there. So it will be like query selector, my bad. All right, so now we are done with our function. The next thing which you have to do is that we have to iterate all through these sliders. So we are going to be writing like slider for each method. And now let's just get our slider. And now let's just call our function in here like slider dot add event listener. And now we are going to be just writing our input and then create box. Okay so we have this input and then we provide our create box in there and now once we save it and now if i just um iterate over through one each of these box right here so it now gives us these value right here okay so i don't know why this one isn't working right away that's because we have to iterate over through a color as well so now let me just iterate over through this color and you know what this one will be colors instead of one color and i guess i messed it up in here as well <laughs> uh you know i'm gonna undo it undo it both of the time and i'm gonna click on it and, and then hit f2 and now let me just change this one to you 
colors and if i hit enter so it will just update it in all of the code so that i don't have to worry about all of them all of these places anyhow so now let me just write like uh for each and now let's just um iterate over through it so you want to get or color and now you want to attach event listener on them so the event listener will be just a change so once we change it so you want to write a create box can okay, you want to just call this function which we've created right here so if you check that that so this one is not working i don't know why so i've skimmed through all of this uh, javascript code but i didn't find any mistake in there because everything is working the way we expect him to work so now let me just go to my sliders and guess what <laughs> we messed it up uh one right here so if you just put one in there and now if we save it all right so now everything is working the way we expect him to work like we can move our box here to x axis y axis and we can also put our blurness right here and we can also provide this spreadness right here okay all right so now the final thing which you have to do is to just iterate over through this button not iterate over through but uh to attach event listener on it so we are going to be just writing btn copy add event listener and we are going to be clicking on so once we click on this button so you want to just call this function so let me just call it i don't know why the hell all right so now we are good to go and now let me just write like uh output dot select and as the name suggests that this function allows us to select okay so once we save it and you know what i'm gonna just click on it and it will now select this text for me right here i thought it would give me an error it didn't give me an error but if you click on it so it will just select everything and now the next thing which you have to do is to just use or document.exc and this is deprecated side to say but you can use the api but we are not going to be using any api whatsoever now we just use document.exc and then copy and now let's just do a little bit of changing in there so a little bit there and a bit changes in there and now if i just click on this copy button so it will first of all select all stuff and it will copy it so now if i just pass this in here so now here you can see the first value we have is a two pixel the second we have is like minus three pixel the third one we have is a seven pixel and the fourth one we have is a three pixel so if you just mess around with this one like let me just mess around with it if i just click it one more time and if i just pass this so here you can see it will just copy the exact uh, box shadow right here okay so now we are good to go the final thing which i have to do is that we have to alert um alert once we copy our text so we are going to be just writing like code uh copied copied and now once we save it and now whenever just we click on this button so it will say like code copied you can just remove this code if you don't want to but in my case i'm going to leave it right here okay and so now let's just refresh my browser and then mess around with my project and i want to test it so like everything is working the way we expect them to work so now let me just change the first value the second value and the third value to like so and also let me just increase that a bit okay so let me just click on this copy it will say code copied and now if i just paste it right here so this is the actual code and you know what i'm going to create a new box right here just for a test you don't have to do that but i'm going to do it anyways uh let me just create a box and just give me a name of like a uh, box in here so save it and we cannot see it right here because we have to just provide a little bit of code on it box selected provide a width of 200 pixel and then height with also 200 pixel and then border not border radius but border um two pixel solid teal okay so we have this box right here now you want to provide this box shadow on this one so now let me just uh, get this box shadow i'm gonna just write it like so and this increase and now i'm gonna just click on it and then finally let me just press this box shadow in there save it and now here you can see we can now provide our box shadow on this box right here and here you can see that all right so now we successfully tested our project and everything is working the way we expect him to work so now let me just remove this ugly box from there from there as well and now we are good to go okay so i guess that was it about tonight's video and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.